play double a doubleheader today. Both games are seven innings. That's the way it's going to be for the rest of the year in Major League Baseball. We've seen it in college baseball. We've seen it in high school baseball. We've also seen it, Ben, in the minor leagues. You and I have seen a number of these kind of games in the minor leagues. The pace is a little different. Phillies still have to deal with this Yankee offense, though, which is really clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, Tom, there's a reason they call them the Bronx Bombers. These guys can really swing the bat. Since 2018, Tom, they have 85 games where they've hit three home runs or more. That stat absolutely blows my mind. Last couple nights ago, DJ LeMay, who gets it started, Brett Gardner goes to opposite field. Only the third time he's hit a ball to the opposite field for a home run. And then the big blow was Gio Urshela later in the ball game off Garrett, a three run bomb. That was really the dagger that put the Phillies down six to one. But these guys can really swing the bats. Hopefully Zach Wheeler and Aaron Nola can keep them in the ballpark today. All right. So a third of their hits this year, a third of their hits have been home runs, 20 home runs in nine games. That leads all of Major League Baseball. That is what you have to deal with when it comes to the Yankees. Now, no John Carlos Stanton in today's lineup uh, that Zach Wheeler has to deal with. And that's the good news for the Phillies. Zach Wheeler, who topped out at 98 miles an hour in his last outing, gets the start today for the Phillies in game one. He was excellent in that first start. His fastball averaging just under 97 miles per hour. He was able to keep the ball down. But what really impressed me in this start were his breaking pitches. The slider was good. I thought the curveball was exceptional, had great depth to it. And he's also able to throw that baseball by you whenever he can. He's a very good pickup for the Philadelphia Phillies. Stuff-wise, well, he just might have the best stuff on the ball club. And I love when he takes the ball every fifth day. I'm anxious to see how he attacks. It's brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the return of live sports. Andrew McCutcheon leads it off. Good numbers against Jay Happ, and he really needs a good game, Ben, to help spearhead this lineup. Jay Happ has excellent numbers in his career against his former team, the Philadelphia Phillies. The Yankees are the home team. They're wearing gray. The first pitch of the day is in there first. Jay Happ is 37 years old. Ben. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. Went four innings in his only outing of the year. That was against Baltimore. He needs one strikeout for 1,500 for his big league career. Big league career that began with the Phillies. He was a third round pick in the 2004. <laughs> Let's look at the Yankees lineup brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the return of live sports. DJ LeMay, who leads it off. Aaron Judge bats second. Aaron Hicks hits third. They ran out of Aaron, so Gleyber Torres will bat cleanup for the Yankees. The home team today in game one. And they'll face Zach Wheeler. Wheeler, excellent outing his first time out. Four strikeouts over seven innings. Brought the game ball from that outing home to his his young son Wesley, who was less than a week old at that.